Hello, so today I'm doing the unapproachable makeup. I feel like this went viral everywhere. So I'm gonna give my best attempt at it. It's kind of like, I think it's just like the smoky, like you'll see, see the person across the bar, that kind of vibe. I'm just gonna start by pinning my hair back. One clip, uh, two clips. I got sent a few bits from Refi and I've been using their products and I've fallen in love, got some lots of new favorites to share with you. Although I'm not gonna make this really in depth because I want to speak. I feel like the whole unapproachable makeup reminds me a lot of confidence. And so I just kind of wanted to speak a bit about my thoughts on confidence and how to how to be more confident. Not that I'm the most confident person in the world because I'm definitely not. But I'd like to think that in recent months, maybe a year, I've become a lot more confident within myself. So I wanted to share, I wanted to talk. I'm using the Refi primer. It's like, it's literally like a face massager in one. It's great. And it's actually a really good primer. <laughs> Not just because of the gimmick. I'm starting with the L'Oreal Glow Shin. And my first kind of point on confidence is, I think it just, it's so important to know that it starts from within you. There's no sort of external thing that will bring you confidence. I think it's so easy to get caught up in like, oh, if this guy likes me, I'll be confident. Or if I get this job, or if I, you know, Whereas by pacing it on an external thing, you're kind of setting yourself up for failure because if you don't get that, then you're back to square one again. And it's just however someone treats you, it's always a reflection on them and it's never to do with you. I think often, you know, people can be mean, people can say some horrible things, but it's often just from their own insecurities. So as long as you kind of have the confidence from yourself that you know, you know your worth. I, I've, I've got such like a love-hate relationship with quotes because when I say them, I'm just like, oh, sorry, there's a helicopter going over. Not a helicopter, it's a plane. Oh wait, interrupt my speech, why don't you? If you know you're a good person, then you shouldn't let what other people say. But it's so easy to say, don't let what people say affect you. But like, at the end of the day, people are sensitive. I'm sensitive, someone might say something. I'm trying not to. This is what, like all these things, is things I'm also working on. So I'm not sitting here on some high horse being like, yeah. I'm great. I'm going in with the Kosas BB Burst foundation, I guess. It was like a BB cream, but it looks like a foundation. Uh, also been really enjoying this. I'm just gonna pop it on the back of my hand and then apply it with a brush. I just tend to put it in the areas I kind of need it most and then let the rest for my concealer. So I'm going in with the Merit Minimalizer. I've just fallen more and more. I was a bit unsure about it at first, but then the more I've used it, I really, really liked it. It's just important to have like a glowy base. I, I moisturized before, I didn't mention. But I'm gonna move on to my second point, which is just being kind. I feel like it can bring so much confidence. I'm not the best explaining, so I don't know why I've chosen to do this, but I wanted to share my thoughts and opinions. Like I know for me, I never want to leave an event or leave somewhere and for someone to be able to be like, she was really rude when I met her. I'd like to think that everyone I've ever met, I've always been friendly to, and I think that's so important. It doesn't mean that, you know, you're going to get on with everyone or everyone's going to like you. But as long as you know that you've never done something to upset someone else's feelings, I think there's a lot of power in that. And also, it's just like the whole thing of, you know, when your cup's full, is that the saying? Like, when you're happy, then you can have so much love to give other people, which I think is such a beautiful, beautiful thing. This is getting very, like, emotion not emotional, what's the word? Just in depth. But it's, it's important and I think confidence is such an important thing and it's with the whole thing with like the unapproachable makeup. Like this look obviously won't make you unapproachable. It's so, it's so, it is deeper than that and that's kind of what I want to bring light to. I'm now going in with the Refi bronzer. This is in the shade Dune. That was a film with Zendaya in, wasn't it? I hope I got that right. I feel like my film knowledge is so appalling. Like, it should be a lot better. My best friend is literally obsessed with films, so she would be very upset with me for not knowing that. But this Refi brush has also been incredible. Because it, it's like a stippling brush, like it's got thin, it's not as dense as this side, that's the one. It like applies your bronzer so evenly and like it looks like airbrushed. I mean, I've, I've, I was gonna go for a road blush, but I used that in my last video. The only issue with road blushes is they're all such pretty shades, I never know which one to pick. So I'm gonna switch it up. I'm actually going to go for, I'm going to use this Giorgio Mar, Giorgio, um, uh, why can't I say it, Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Cheek Tin in the shade, I think it's in the shade 62. I always find this with like, um, expensive makeup products. They never have shade names, it's always like really weird numbers and it's impossible to find. But it's a really just like lovely neutral pink because I'm doing like quite a neutral base and then the eyes are the focus because I feel like that's the, that's the look. I'm just going to pop that on my cheek and then get my brush. So I'm just using the other side of the Refi brush. But this kind of brings me on to my third point, which is removing yourself. I think there's so much power in knowing when something isn't right for you, you're not getting treated right, or just people being mean is just, just 
remove yourself. This is definitely the one that I think I struggle with most because I think it's just innate, you know, you want people to like you and you kind of, it's very easy to fall into the trap of doing things to please others, the people pleaser. <laughs> I think the key thing is, is just to be unbothered if someone doesn't like you. Not everyone's for you and that means also not everyone's going to like you, which I know it's hard to hear, it's very hard to hear. I'm still trying, I've, I think I'm, I'm getting a lot better at it, I'm becoming less unfazed if I'm not someone's cup of tea because you also can have this, I think, with having really good friends around you it doesn't matter as much then because you you've kind of got your own bubble you don't become as affected when someone doesn't like you and that's like relationships friendships obviously if people don't like you because you're horrible and mean and then maybe you should think oh maybe it's me if you're a nice person and someone doesn't like you different sense of humor i don't know what that's fine i actually really love that blush shade it's so pretty and it blended so easily now i'm going in with highlighter i'm using the merit highlighting balm in the shade carver oh my god it's melting because of how hot it is it's actually hot in england for once shocker yeah so just pop that onto my brush and then i'm going to place that on my cheeks but as well with the whole kind of being unbothered if someone doesn't like you. That also applies for just, because I found it a lot. I think I found, right, I'm gonna think of what I'm saying before I speak. From modeling, I gained this trait a lot because obviously there's some weird photos, but I thought they were cool, so I wanted to share them. Whether or not I look good in them or whatever, I think I, I had a lot of confidence in that because I liked it, I wanted to share it and didn't really care how people were to perceive it. And that kind of goes the same with like posting more frequently and posting online. It helped a lot with that, I think. It's so easy to get swept up in doing what everyone else is doing and blending in. Whereas there's something so beautiful in everyone being individuals and doing what makes you happy. So that's kind of like my last lost spiel on that. Okay, I'm just going to set this into place using the Kosas Breezy Powder. Breezy Breezy, easy breezy. And I'm getting a little puff my little poof poof all right hold up lauren and then placing that wherever i put the concealer and then i'm also just going to like kind of carve out a bit of my cheekbones but not crazily okay we're going on to the eyes i'm just going to start actually i was going to start with the eyeliner but i'm not i'm going to just place a bit of bronzer in my crease first i'm just going to take some of that refi bronzer and just sweep it all over the lid, pretty much, just kind of like a base. Sweep a bit underneath as well. And now I'll go in with this Lisa Eldridge Seamless Glide Eye Pencil in Ground Coffee. There's something about the shade that is, is the perfect smoky brown. I will go in with black afterwards to give it the really smoky effect, but I think with all eye looks, I love building a bit of dimension before going in. Like I never like to just put one color. I kind of like to mix it with like warmer browns and stuff to give it more dimension. So I'm just gonna place that into my waterline and then smudge it out. So I really smoked that out by just taking a brush and kind of bringing it onto my eyelid and then into like a wing shape and also dragging it underneath. And then I'm going to go in with this black from this. This Beauty Bay palette is honestly only eyeshadow palette you ever need. Are you ready? There's literally every shade you can imagine. But I'm just going to use the black. Be basic. I want to create some really fun eye looks with this. I just think it'll be so, there's just so many options and I want to push myself out of my comfort zone. Which kind of leads me on to my next confidence point. Good segue there, Lauren. Okay, I'm just gonna pop this really close to my lash line and not bringing it as far out as the brown. And as far as blacks go, it's so pigmented but so blendable. Then I'll just kind of blend the two together with a fluffy brush. Bring it up to my crease. Blend over that again. I might, I might actually just add in a bit of this shade here. It's like a warm really warm brown and just pop that underneath the lash line as i think it just adds a, a little something something i made a good segue and i've forgotten it because i will carry away the eye look my next point is i think you can have a lot of confidence by having goals and ambitions in life this could be hobbies this could be obviously not in work because I, we've touched on that at the beginning i think that's a very dangerous way to be in because sometimes i've done it where i've you know placed my confidence in which modeling job i'm getting but it's so out of my control so i think with the hobbies and ambitions it's got to be something that's, that you can control i'm using the ysl lash clash i think with having a hobby or an ambition or something no matter how small it is it could literally be making your bed every day but the fact that you can show up and do that for yourself every single day is so powerful and if you can show up for the small things then obviously you can do it for the bigger things it's so rewarding i mean even if you think back to school you know you'd get achievements for doing things i think it's such like a humane thing to feel accomplished after achieving something but this is what i do is i sometimes set my expectations way too high like i want to run a marathon even I can't currently run 5k do you know what I mean so 
start small and then work your way up so then you don't get disheartened by not achieving these super high goals that you've set on yourself i mean it could literally just be joining a pottery class and then once you made your first piece of pottery you'll feel so good about yourself and have a lot of confidence within that and it also it's just it's great to talk about something you know when you're meeting new people and the conversation goes dead or you can be like well funny enough i've got this pot that i made not that i've made a pot i have painted pottery i enjoyed that actually i made a little coaster i put lemons on it <laughs> Okay, that's not to do this confidence talk. I'm now just going to set my brows into place and I'm using the NYX brow glue. This is literally glue for your eyebrows, so I kind of brush them back first. I keep bringing the mirror really close, blocking the view, and then I'll brush them up and down pretty much. But this is my fifth and final point on confidence, and it's the fact that it's a journey. It was like the famous saying, a marathon, not a sprint. Ironic, I've not run, run a run marathon yet. I will. One time in my life, I will run a marathon. Maybe a half marathon, actually. Set the bar low. It's so easy to think that one day you'll wake up and you'll be the most confident, amazing person. Not that you already aren't, but you'll just have it and you'll wake up with it. But it's so far from the truth. And it's just, it's a journey. You know, each day I'm trying to become more and more confident to the point where, you know, you don't care what anyone says or thinks to a healthy extent. Not not like where you can just say the most outrageous things and be like, oh, I don't care. <laughs> um, I'm just going in with lip liner. This is in the shade Whip. It's the Beauty Bay one. I've literally fallen in love with this shade. It's a perfect My Lips Better. And for the unapproachable, you can kind of like overline your lips a bit to make them. So I just think you can really find joy in the process of finding confidence i think that's with anything in life because it's so easy to get caught up in the end destination and then you forget to enjoy it whilst you're doing it because if you can wake up every morning and be like i'm working to be more confident that's so cool then that will also bring probably you more confidence I and mean, i'm kind of saying this uh, in a video but it's also to remind myself and then this lisa eldridge lip gloss in the shade oh i've got a hair attached to me in the shade muse pairs so beautifully with this lip liner it's literally the perfect combination i swear but this is the final finished makeup to be unapproachable. Not that the makeup makes you unapproachable. It's the confidence that you bring with it. And that's the thing with, with makeup. I think so many people say, like, oh, it's just a mask. It's just this, blah, blah, blah. But when you just put time into yourself, same with, you know, hobbies, things, I put time into getting ready to make myself feel good and give yourself the time. The more and more you respect yourself and treat yourself right then you'll attract people who also do the same but yeah i hope you enjoyed me rambling on sharing my thoughts and hopefully i i, don't, I hope it's like a little pep talk that's kind of the vibe i was going for because i'm i'm not perfect i'm not there i don't feel like i can give full advice there's probably better videos out there of like therapists that know a lot more than me but it's just more for like a little boost and maybe inspire you to become more confident because i think it's incredible but yeah goodbye